NASCAR, I guess we at a crossroad. If you're a non-Larson fan, you ain't like what happened. But if you was a Larson fan, you glad happened, happened. I mean, let's get right into it. We had, from the beginning, Chase Elliott was definitely letting over the radio, letting NASCAR know how he felt with his whole situation with him having to go back in the back quick after coming out of pit stalls due to they saying he could be a certain way on the line, then he said he couldn't be, and he said, I did it the same mother, and these, and now they saying I'm doing it wrong, so don't know how that happened or what the rules are and what's allowed and what's not, and then we have Rex, uh, Legacy owns Jimmy J, gets caught in a wreck, Logano, out, John Hunter Nemechek, out, you have Rex just coming. Uh, that Carson host of our situation. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all think he's being too aggressive? Because people have been on his back lately. You know, he's a young, you know, now he's full-time in the Cup Series. He's young. Are y'all thinking that he is racing wrong? Or he's just like, hey, I got to get mad just like y'all getting y'all. Just because I'm a youngin' don't mean I got to sit back here and, and not try to pick a spot. Because in that situation where he was there, in that three wide situation, he was there. So he didn't force his way. He was already there. It's just that when you come up to that turn, somebody got let up. What y'all think of that situation? And then I thought, to be honest, Denny Hamlin had a pretty good fast car. But he got caught up in the Alex Bowman wreck. So that ended Denny's day. And, of course, you know, his poofy just dang where pitch strategy is such an important thing, especially at this type of track. And the milestone and everything that the Brickyard 400 brings if you win. So it's a lot of emotion riding on that. So that also had people making moves and stuff like that. And I mean, look at Kyle Bush. The same. It's the longest this man, I think it's been what, 42? Straight races? No dubs? No W's? For Mr. Bush, Cal Bush? I ain't like him. So, I mean, what they say, you got about 15 more races left? In the whole season, I think. So, it's going to be interesting what happens. But the thing is, what are we going to... Uh, I don't know what's... RCR and Cowboys got to get together and figure some things out. Maybe just having a bad year, but a person like him who's had over a decade of phenomenal years and success, maybe, you know, he could have a one-off. I know we want him to do something right now, but, I mean, he was running great yesterday. But, once again, he ends up in a wreck. And this time, you know, he drove into the corner and... Washed up, yeah. Then in well for him, so sucks for him as well. And then, like I said, Denny Hamlin probably the one that I definitely thought he had the fastest car. Ryan Blaney, he was on fumes. wasn't sure if he's gonna run out of gas like he did before, but he was behind Brad Keselowski. We at the end of the race, and Brad Keselowski is winning. But we not sure if he's gonna be able to, you know, finish the race. And what happens? A rat comes out, and that brings out overtime. So now Brad Keselowski, everybody's thinking, this man is definitely on fumes. He's got to be. They choose which side they wanted to go on, left or right. You know how that works. And those who are new to NASCAR who don't know, when you picking your side, that's when you line up. Are you going to line up on the right? You're going to line up on the left when that restart comes. So as they picking around this arrow, Brad Keselowski picked left, and Larson is the third person. He's in third position. So he chooses left as well. Ryan Blaney, he's in second place. He chooses right. Ryan Blaney chooses right. And as soon as they about to come to the restart, Brad Keselowski's out of... That thing might have been putt-putting and sputtering. So he pulls off and goes in the pits right before. And who automatically becomes first place? Not the guy that's in second. You would think so, right? To new NASCAR people. But this restart rule, 
has been around. Don't People don't like it, of course. I mean, if I was Ryan Blaine, I wouldn't like it. I'm in second place, even though I chose to choose the right side and not the left side. But it goes with who's ever behind the leader. Not in place, but actually in the line. And Kyle Larson took the same left as Brad Kozlowski, so he's behind Kozlowski. So he automatically is in first. So that is one thing that we, something's got to give. NASCAR, I don't know about that. That might be a rule that's got to be changed. I'm just saying. On top of that, we get to overtime. They go, Kyle Larson. You know what I'm saying? They racing. You know what I'm saying? They rubbing them ties together with Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney gets a little loose. He loses some positions. Now, mind you, now Tyler Reddick ends up pulling in second. 41 gets turned around. He's somewhat on the racing. Grant, they trying to give him time. To... You ask me, and to the non-Larson fans, that probably will say the same thing. Y'all should have threw that caution. Now, if it's your favorite driver, you're like, no, no caution. No caution, because the next, we already, uh-uh, no caution. So we can get to the white flag. Nah. After Larson crossed and got the white flag, then they weren't called caution. And so that ends the race. Now, get, I get it. Some are saying on Twitter and stuff that, hey, they didn't want another Nashville whole debacle. But come on. We need something better than Nash to break y'all 400. And on top of that finish, we need something to keep us good until the Olympics is over. Shout out to Team USA that's going in these Olympics. Definitely can't wait to watch. Want to watch that boxing and them basketball games. Can't wait. Um, But... We get a break, almost like a three-week break because of the Olympics. Give us something that's going to keep our heart and our stomachs full until after. Please, NASCAR. That finish, to me, was not a great way to keep us filled until Richmond. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know in the comments. Let me hear your opinions. Also, make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So y'all know every time I post something, keep a go smag mentality. Smag like that!